Hello, my legends. It's Tio. Dying. God damn it. Uh, um, yeah, I'm here with a commentary. And uh, this one's a little different. I had no gameplay. Uh, no, like, Battlefield 3 match or COD or anything to talk over. So I'm playing some Super Meat Boy, which I have barely played uh, while talking. And fuck that. And, um... I'm gonna see how well I can do talking about what I want to talk about while trying to... Oh, come on. Well, yeah, as you see, it goes fairly well um, doing this. Uh, anyway... Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, first thing I wanted to say is... I need to, I need to gather my thoughts. Wait. Alright, now I think I've gathered my thoughts enough to talk. I keep sucking with this. Ah, I'm supposed to go up here. Uh, yeah, first off, I've been tweeting about it and I said it on Facebook, so many of you know it, and it's all over the internet right now. Uh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, this is how much I failed. Um, uh, yeah, Battlefield 4 was kind of announced. Uh, on Origin, which is the thing used, the launcher kind of used for playing Battlefield 3, the, I guess the EA version of Steam. Really bad version. No offense, EA. Uh, they had a poster thing for pre-ordering Medal of Honor, and it said, uh, "Pre-order Medal of Honor 3, not 3. Fuck that. Uh, Medal of Honor, the n newest Medal of Honor that's coming. Medal of Honor Warfighter or something like that. I apologize for being wrong. What the fuck is this? It said you get Battlefield 4 um, with it. What the hell? Oh my God! Go! Oh, I'm a rainbow motherfucker. Oh, I died. Oh, I get an infinity. Yeah, and uh, and then uh, shortly after they had it up on Origin, um, they took it away again. And why do I have? Oh, okay. Oh my God, what the fuck? And and then I asked them on Twitter, and people have been asking them on Twitter about it, and they've just been denying it now. Uh, they said that if it's not on an official site like Battlefield.com, uh, then it's not true. And I was like, hey, but what, Origin isn't official? And they ignored me. <laughs> so uh, I'm guessing there was some sort of mistake, because I would imagine that it's not Battlefield 4 that comes next. I would think it's... Uh... Oh, okay, I gotta jump. I would think I, I was thinking it's either Bad Company 3 or... Oh, come on! Or 1943. Uh... So yeah, my theory is that it was... Uh... A mistake uh, since they took it away but or it was just they leaked it by accident it's not supposed to be released yet uh, so yeah I'm assuming oh yes no come on <laughs> I'm assuming that a lot of people of you know know about it already thanks to uh, the quick youtubers who were very fast with uploading a video with the title you know battlefield 4 Announced and then in brackets I shall put BF4 as well for those who search that and yeah I I thought I'd wait for them to upload it and then I'd just mention it here for those who missed that <laughs> I just I just wanted to be said that um there were a few youtubers who were very quick with the upload button as soon as the Battlefield 4 thing hit the web uh, you know having the classic huge block letters and caps in the title you know saying Battlefield 4 and of course also the thumbnail just you know to share the news that's all, just uh, sharing the news with you guys, even though some of them don't even have Battlefield videos on their channel. It's uh, it's great what they're doing, man. God, this is the worst commentary ever. I'm just, like, completely distracted. While, like, of, of all games, I choose Super Meat Boy, which is, like, the most frustrating game ever, to, like, try to talk at the same time. That's not a smart move, Tio. Anyway, what more did I want to talk about? Uh, I never really talked about Greece once I came back from it. Um, as you know, probably, uh, thanks to the description in the videos uh, that I uploaded while I was gone, or I had scheduled to upload, I was in Greece with five friends, and we had a fucking great time, actually. Uh, we were there for a week, we were in uh, Rodos, and, uh, and, oh, what the hell, and... I don't know, yeah, Rodos is amazing. I, I, as soon as I got back from it, uh, back to Stockholm, I thought, ah, oh, come on. I thought that uh, I was kind of sad, because Stockholm is fairly boring compared to Rodos, or Rhodes, if you're not Greek, which I'm not, but Rodos is a lot cooler. Uh, way to say it. 
Come on, baby! Oh, it's horrible. I had something more to talk about, but now I'm just in such a bad mood. There we go. Um. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Made it. Come on then, meat boy. Sh get, get me. Give me the best you got, man. Oh, come on. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I uh, tabbed out of the game to read up on something that I was going to talk about. Realized I didn't remember much of it. Um, but I'm back now. Oh yeah, then the game crashed on me. But here I am. Back to the worst commentary ever. Um, yeah. As I'm not sure if I said, uh, there's, a, there's a thing I've been really wanting to talk about for a long time now. Uh, which is, I found out that, I don't know how many, how many of you know about this, but, ooh, can I catch that rabbit? Go on. Uh, um, uh, we, as in human beings, are actually going to Mars in in like ten years, eleven years. Uh, yeah, it's it's a project called Mars One, and uh, and it's it's like it's happening uh, in 2022, I believe. Uh, we're sending a a group of uh, of um, astronauts astronauts to uh, to Mars, and it's a one way trip. And it's going to take eight months to get there, I believe it is. And uh, so then they're going to be there in 2023. And as I said, it's a one-way trip because we don't have enough, like, we don't have the technology to, uh, whoops, okay, you cannot go that way. We don't have the technology to, ah, to bring enough whatever you need, resources, I guess, to come back. Uh, so it's a one-way trip. They're going to go there and then they're going to live there. They're going to live on Mars. Uh, they're going to set up a bunch of tents, I believe, and... Uh, and yeah, it's the first human, like, we're gonna have a civilization there. Um, and uh, every two years, I think it is, uh, we will be sending, uh, like, another crew uh, there. And, and yeah, slowly but surely, may, uh, settling, settling a civilization there. And I think that's fucking amazing. Like, I had no idea that I would be alive to see it. Like, and, uh, oh, there's one more detail. But first... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all gonna be, it's all gonna, it's all gonna be broadcasted on, oh, come on. It's all gonna be broadcasted on TV, so we'll be, it's, I guess it's gonna be like a reality TV show of them on Mars, and fuck, it's the same people, uh, uh, it's the same people, the people behind it are the same people that are behind Big Brother. So at first, I was thinking like, oh, great, they're gonna send a bunch of idiots, but then I realized, you know, you can't set, I mean, it's astronauts, they have to be. So I guess it, it's not like a, uh, you know, he slept with him. Uh. It's, it's, it's an actual, like, we're going to be able to see them, you know, building a civilization, I guess. And I'm fucking excited. I had no idea I'd be alive to see us, like, living on Mars. Like, really. And I, I'm not going for that pill thing down there, by the way, or whatever it is, bandage. Um... Because imagine, imagine, like, right now, it's going to be a one-way trip, we don't have the technology, but maybe in 20 years, we will have the technology to be able to go there and then go back. And that means that in our lifetimes, unless something goes wrong, uh, we'll most likely have people on Earth who are, uh, who, who uh, eventually, when the technology is good enough, will come back, yeah, they'll come to Earth, and they will have been born on Mars. So they'll be here, and, you know, they'll be from Mars. I think that's fucking amazing. Like, there will be people from Mars. I, I, am I the only one who's just, like, way too excited about that? Like, really, that's so amazing. Um, and, yeah, I was talking to my brother about this, and he said, like, he, he's pretty sure that, I mean, like, uh, these astronauts that are going there, they'll be bringing sperm with them as well. Because, <laughs> because um, uh, I mean, if we're going to have a start of civilization there, then I'm guessing people have... Ooh, I can go up there. I wonder if I... Let's try. Uh... If we're gonna have a civilization, then I'm guessing they're really, really thinking about, you know, the whole, like, um, process of um, sexual reproduction. And if we're gonna have, like, what the fuck? Why can I go up there? If, if, and if we're gonna do that, and it's like, say it's four guys and four, well, four uh, men and four women who are going there, then uh, it's gonna be inbred breeding if we just have those guys uh, <laughs> Uh, making babies. So uh, my brother said that he's sure they'll be bringing sperm along so that we could have a wide range of uh, DNA or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's that's another thing I wanted to talk about because that's I think that's fucking amazing that we're actually going to Mars uh, in you know ten years and people are going to be living there. It's going to be broadcasted on TV all around the world 
and it's ah, it's it's an hey wait did I no, it's another it's another big step for humanity I guess um, and yeah, I guess that's about it. I don't think I had anything more to talk about. This was probably the worst commentary I've ever done. I hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> and I will see you later. Bye bye.